everybody. It is a marvelous Monday. Beautiful. There's a breeze outside. Even though it's hot, it's not so humid. It's so pleasant. It was humid it this weekend. So Where'd you get that shirt? Oh, uh, out of Michelle's closet. I love it. I love it. It's got the cutest little tie in the I back. Love it. it's so and I've cute. got and my under my tank top's yeah. got lace across I the love bottom it. It's so and cute. So it just goes with anything. So we are, I'm not patriotic today. We're kind I of am. color coordinated, yeah, blues and yeah, blacks, yeah. and I've but got I on am, blue pants, but I am still. I patriotic today. I'm so thankful for all the displays of patriotism this weekend. From Thursday night on, we just kept seeing different cities honoring America. I love that the White House was lit up red, white, and blue. Absolutely. As it have been. And New York was beautiful with all the Absolutely. red, white, and blue. And, and the water, you know, I think, was it Macy's Fireworks? Macy's Fireworks the out there at Coney beautiful, Island, just beautiful, gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. But I loved the fireworks coming off of the Empire State Building. Oh, yeah. I thought that was yeah. so cool, yeah. Yeah. knowing that area so yeah. well, how hard that would have been to set, but how many buildings were, were lit in red, white, and blue. It was just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, as part of the Reagan team, you know that he delivered amazing speeches. Always. You watched him, you saw him unite our country, you saw everybody come behind him, even people who didn't like him came behind him. As an American citizen today and a conservative, you saw our president deliver to me what was the greatest historical message at Mount Rushmore that's ever been. And people were condemning him and criticizing him and whining. And that guy on CNN, I just like to- Don't even go there. That just like to mm, be a bad day. But, but when we think about the truth in the history of America, we can't change our history. Our country is great because we learn by our mistakes, we move on, and we are doing Well, what they're we do. wanting us to obliterate our history. You can't do it. And we can't do can't that. Do we, we've got to remember what horrors happened. Right. What good right. things happened. See this? See how, see how Jewish I look? The Holocaust. Tell me I could forget that. Tell me that my German family could forget that. There are things in history that we well, don't like, but we can't forget you know, them. I grew up with a, my name was Signius. Everybody, yeah. and my father was the only Gentile in right. the company where he worked. So everybody right. thought we were Jewish. Right. Didn't understand right. why we didn't go to and temple. speaking of, thank you for the <laughs> top liver. Oh my gosh, it was so was good. It, it, was that not just delicious? It amazing. It's absolutely <laughs> delicious. Nice little and Jewish I mean, deli. Not I am a Southern Baptist, but my heritage is not and so, you know, I'm not going to condemn or criticize or whatever. Everybody's religious right. You have the right to do your own religion. That Absolutely. Is one of our freedoms. One of our freedoms. You can do that. And let me tell you, First Baptist Bob Brown had a few more people in there yesterday. People are beginning to come back. I want to encourage you. I know the COVID is running rampant, but I want you to either wear your mask or do like I do. Did I you like see the everything. new proclamation Governor Kemp signed? I did, did you? not. Tell me about it. It came through on that he's extended the quarantine in and no gatherings of 50 or more people and mm -hmm. through the 15th of July okay. to be readdressed on the 15th of July. And I'm going to call my church today well, we because, were because we're supposed we to meet inside. Many, so. We're supposed to meet inside for the first time this coming Sunday. Yeah. And I think with Michelle, well, I, can't, I can't do yeah. that. Yeah, well, we felt safe because we, we were like just a few people per row. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool. And um, we do our wiping stuff, and we do, and I just pump gas at the gas station. That's why I slid in here on the seat of my pants. Because I was flying. I was flying. I saw a lady walk up the other day to the gas station. She didn't put a glove oh, on. Honey, I she, that I put, I, I use a wipe. I use a glove. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. touch it for the world. Yeah, wipe it all down. So there we but, all are. And, and that's, you know, I went to the beauty shop. We wipe everything down. We take care. We protect. That's what it's about. Just use caution and common sense. Now, well, numbers sense. are coming up, though. That's the problem. Uh -huh. People uh -huh. aren't using common sense. Have you seen sense. the beach lately? Well, I know they closed them this yes, weekend. And I'm, and yes, And I'm they from did. California to Florida. Right. And I'm so glad they did. And I know that it impacted a lot of hotels, a lot of restaurants, a lot of tourist attractions. You know, I listened to a commercial for Universal, buy one day and get two days free. 
I mean, that's worth a couple hundred dollars yeah, right there yeah. if you were going to go. But I wouldn't, you couldn't I wouldn't go me. and get on a ride at Universal. Well, Six Flags has opened back up. And I said, after every ride, do they sanitize the whole thing? Of course they don't. How do they have time? I don't know. They Are don't, they doing I that? I don't think so. I haven't been. I think I they don't would know. have to. But whether they've got one of those spray things, I don't know what they're but doing. But Six Flags but is I'm open. Not, so. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. I've been. But I, I would didn't love go before to go, COVID. But I'm not going. I didn't go before COVID because I don't like going out I-20. I-20 to me is like the armpits of the devil on traffic because it is just always. If I'm going to go to an so. amusement park now, I'm going to go Dollywood. Yes. Which is Dollywood. the funny thing. Just before yeah. the world came to an end, we bought season passes to Dollywood, love which it. which they haven't sent us yet. They keep sending us emails. We're just going to wait. And Aren't they opening in a week? Yeah, but yeah. they're giving they're giving yeah. us options yeah. of waiting. Wait. We're just yeah. gonna wait till the end of the year because yeah. yeah. I'm not go. I'm not going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't want. I don't know. I'm not. Well, going. we are seeing our country um, shining at moments. We are seeing our country failing at moments. I hate to say this, but Atlanta themselves, Atlanta proper, had twenty. I believe it was twenty four shootings this weekend. I think there was either four or eight fatalities, and this was shooting each other. Not, not a police single, po not a single shooting. police officer. This was shooting each other, which Civilian puts us right shooting. up there with Chicago. That is not a good statistic to have. I love Atlanta. I love the city. I grew up there. I love the restaurants there. Would I go there now? Absolutely not. There is no reason I would I've travel been there to Atlanta. Five, Atlanta. five times in the last... Eight, you and know, God bless nine, you, you brought ten, me chopped liver. Nine or ten yeah, days. But, oh, but we wore, we wore our mask. We <laughs> sit, I'm telling you, at Goldberg's, you either stood six feet apart or you left. Yeah, they were yeah, adamant about yeah, that. And they yeah. had their double gloves and their double mask. And it was so you could good. You could sit and eat, but you you were literally 12 feet away from yeah, somebody. Yeah. And when you the minute you got through eating, put that mask back on. McKaysville was shining this weekend, wasn't it? Absolutely, like a shining star. The train, the train ran it. They considered the train full, but they only ran it at fifty percent occupancy mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they social distanced. But it, it it was full. The fireworks were absolutely gorgeous, and they mm -hmm. just went off and went off and went off and went off, and you couldn't, as usual, you could not move in town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't go down there. Were the restaurants busy, you think? I hope so. Um, well, the town's been busy. Towns yeah. and, and, and yeah. the, the balcony right there on the river has been just jam-packed with raptors and, and kayakers. So I'm sure it did, but I, you and I know that traffic down there. Yeah. And yeah. no, the fireworks were out my window. Was there I a go parade down down? at all no. in McCaseville? Okay, no. see, Jasper had no parade, no fireworks. I was very sad because Jasper 4th of July has always been a big deal. I don't think Blue, Blue Ridge didn't do their parade. They did fireworks mm -hmm. that were absolutely gorgeous, but people watched from all over the place in mm -hmm. cars. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, I'm sure there was a, just a mass of people down there at the marina right. and on the dam where they close it, but when you can go up to the parking lot at BB&T or or somewhere far away and look at them and see how beautiful they are. Yeah, That's where yeah, you go to yeah, look at those. Yeah. And then yeah. you get ahead of the traffic <coughs> going home. Mm -hmm. That's smart That's move. That's the smart, smart move. move. Smart, smart move. move. Go home and lock up. Well, speaking of traffic, this morning I did slide in here by the seat of my pants. I was running a little late. Traffic was still heavy in both directions coming up 515. I had to stop and get gas. And um, I did the sanitizing, wiping my thing down and da 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 and um, I, I just think we are fortunate because real estate, knock on wood, I've not missed one day's work. Here we shut down for 30 days and it was very hard to be shut down because we had stuff to do. I already had guests scheduled for two weeks and we had to rearrange some things and, and make some mm -hmm. changes, but we made it through it. And so you and I are in that age bracket. I don't know if y'all have noticed we're old. And we are okay. healthy, but we are healthy. But my cardi and we're being cautious. My cardiologist Thursday put the fear of God in me. Uh oh. He said, he said, you're healthy. But he said, your body is the body that COVID is looking for. My doctor was out sick for four weeks. I didn't know he was out sick oh with it for four gosh, weeks. You're kidding. He says, this stuff is awful. And he said, I'm not even old. But he said, he said, your body is the kind of body that COVID is looking for. Yeah. 
He said, It likes me because it's got said, a lot of places to he hide. Said, <laughs> well, that, that's just mine. It can get in all kinds of areas. But he said, he said, I'm telling you, go home and close the door. Wow. He wow. said, don't think this thing is over by and any means. And she's here with me today because she trusts me. I'm here with Sherry. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm going home and I'm going to close my door. Well. But he said, he said, there are comorbidities within your body that COVID is looking for. Isn't that And wild? he said, and he's talking about, he showed me how to meet with him on the phone. Brought it up right there on the phone. Oh, how wow. we could sit and talk on the phone and how <clears> I could put my hand in a certain space in the app that they now have and they can read, take, take readings on me. Oh my gosh. And I'm sitting there just fascinated by that this. And wild. I'm going, will you believe that? Yeah. And he said, this is, he said, this is the wave of the future. But he said, yeah. honest to God, he said, next time, he said, unless something comes up between now and January when I see you again, that's really, really, really serious. He said, this is the way you call me. I but he said, it. you call me 24 seven. But he said, you've got the body that COVID's looking for. Well, and he said, they I, got don't, to mine and he said I don't want to scare you, but he said, <laughs> yeah. he said, your age, your heart condition, your blood pressure condition. You know, he said, your heart's not strong. He said, you uh -huh. have stent. You know, he said, he said, you're what it's looking for. Yeah. Wow. And now that well. he, he's told me that, I, I walk around with 500 wipes with me, and I got, I got more sanitizing <laughs> liquid with me than than God's got ants. You know, it, it's like I spray everything down. Well, Saturday. But we've got to go back. I think we we became too complacent. Well, and and we are being cautious, and we are wiping, and we are doing all the things we're doing, and I am being careful. And I have worn a mask a few times, but I can't breathe with that mask on. My allergies oh, are really tough. Oh, that mask is awful. I've been showing some older houses that have been closed up, and it has taken a toll on me. So somebody talked to me, and she said, oh, my gosh, you sound terrible. <coughs> and you hear that? I do sound terrible, but it's my allergies because I have been in some older homes. And it does make a difference with me, and I know, I know it my body. It makes your lungs susceptible to COVID. I know, I know. I, I know. heard all about that. I know. I heard all about your and allergies. And I said it, <coughs> it makes me very nervous my because allergies. I have those, and I take Mucinex twice a day. I take Allegra every day, and I'm just trying to fight the fight because I don't want this stuff. But Saturday, I thought I was dead. I have a little issue with certain things that I eat and I have a lot of scar tissue from surgery and that scar tissue sometimes causes some problems with digestion and so Saturday I'm in Vicki's new house and I'm thinking I'm dying and I look at her new shower curtain and I said oh my god if I die here don't get blood and guts all over her new shower curtain it was hysterical. Even in death, I was thinking of <laughs> others. You know, it was so it was so scary, y'all. I, I broke out in this cold sweat. I was burning up. I was freezing to death. It lasted about five minutes. And then <coughs> I was okay. But it was so strange because I, I thought, I don't want to die in Vicky's new house and Jinx her new house, you know. But it was very scary. And, and it was just, and then I was okay. But... I have a twist in my gut, and it occasionally from you scar tissue be causes a problem. You got to be yes. careful with that. Yes. Look what happened to Scott. Well, look what happened to Conway Twitty. He died oh, from hello. a ruptured uh, aneurysm. Well, I so was did thinking, Amos. Conway, here I come. <laughs> so look at Amos. Amos's colon <coughs> exactly, exactly exploded. Exactly. Literally ruptured. I was so scared Saturday, and I was just like, Lord, please let me come through this. Let me come through this. And, and Vicki and I laughed about it the next day, not so much Saturday, because I was really like, oh my gosh, I thought I was leaving this world. It was very scary, so I might go see a doctor. You know, I'm just, I stay away from doctor's offices because COVID is around. So I don't want to go to the doctor because But now let COVID me tell you, Piedmont, <coughs> they, they hose the office down when somebody comes in, when somebody goes out, you wear your mask. Once you go in the room, if they have to talk to you, you can take the mask off while they do all the stuff. Mm -hmm. They put the mask back on me when they took my EKG. I mean, they do, and it's just almost like they've got a fire hose hosing things down. Anything you touch, the scale you touch, they yeah. from your feet up to the, they h wiped everything down. Well, I have like You're five, being so I careful. have five skin cancers now. 
I've got to get those addressed. I don't want to go to the doctor's office. I don't want to put myself in jeopardy going to a doctor's office. That's very scary because the doctors are trying to clean and cleanse and do all the things they're supposed to do. But we're all nervous and I'm not nervous enough to go home and shut the door and stay hidden. But I'm also, you know, we have been to restaurants, but we look at their health score. It better be a 95 or above or we're not going mm -hmm. in there, you know. We have done some things that I would consider risky. I go to the grocery store once a week. I wipe down so much that I leave there and my hands are raw from wiping the buggy so much. But I haven't stopped living. You know, I haven't stopped living, but I have used a lot of, I think, common sense. Do you ask people if they walk up too close to you to step oh, back? Oh, yeah, I don't. Oh, Thursday. The only time this has happened to me was at church, and it really unnerved me because she should have known better, but I was sitting in my seat, and she came right here to my shoulder. Everybody else, we have been distancing, mm -hmm. and this one person, and I thought, Lord, so I waited till late this week to go in while she was already seated because I love her to death, and I'm thankful that she came to speak, but don't get in my face and don't get close to me. And it made me very nervous. So I almost didn't go back to church, and I thought, no, I'm not going to let that one incident stop me. So I went, I do my seat, I don't get around anybody, I hey, wave, we do all that stuff, and then I go home. And I wipe everything down when I get in my car. So, but I don't want to stop living. I, I want I to live. I don't either, but Thursday at Walmart, all of a sudden, a woman without a mask, her shoulder was between my shoulder blades. And I, you know, and she didn't move, and I finally turned around and I said, you don't have a mask on. Would you please social distance? What'd she must say? have had $500 worth of clothes on. It wasn't that she was stupid or couldn't afford it. But she went off on me. She went, and the, the cashier said, no, ma'am, you really do need to step back to the disc down on the floor. And she went off on me. She went off on the, the cashier. You're kidding. No. <coughs> she has a right to be out. Has she, she been has, on a remote island she somewhere has, doesn't know about social ha distancing? She has freedom. She doesn't believe in socialism, and this is just an exercise in socialism to teach us how to, to be controlled. Well, I believe what and she I'm, says, I'm too. Thinking, I'm thinking, well, part of what you said is right, but you must get back <laughs> yes, six feet and yes, say it back yes. there. Yeah. You don't have a mask <coughs> on, and I just come from the cardiologist. Get away from me. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And I didn't quite, I just said, let's be safe. Just move. And yeah. she went to another aisle. Yeah. And I didn't care. Yeah, yeah. I did yeah. not care. I did not want her rubbing her her no, shoulder no. against between my shoulder no, blades. No. I well, don't, that's the I don't only want time that. I, I don't want that when weird. we're not all sick. Uh -huh. I, you know, uh -huh. I don't do that. No, nope, I don't do it in flu season. So you know what season it is now? It's time to go to a commercial break, and we're going to go to a commercial break. And then today, I chose a recipe and a song of my favorite, that I one love of my favorite recipes. Grab it and go. And I have been. We got lettuce. Uh, had some really good lettuce and so I've been making salads and I thought a quick and easy meal for summer is grab it and go and a salad and that's all you need and then some fruit for dessert so how cool is that it mm -hmm. is so easy it is so simple and grab it and go has the protein it has cheese it has calcium so it has um, the sour cream has calcium in it. It, it is just a good good simple recipe and if your kids are at home and one comes in and wants to eat now and one comes in and wants to eat later and one's, you know, doing their homework, doing whatever they're doing, we have kids at home more. This is a kid-friendly recipe. Don't let them see that you put onions in it when you cook it because that was the one thing. I didn't let anybody see the ingredients because sometimes kids go, ooh, I don't like sour cream, ooh, I don't like onions. And then you have to say, well, just shut up and don't eat it. But, but I want you to try this, and so we're going we're gonna to do that, but we're going to take a commercial break, and when Jen and I come back, we're going to talk about what is happening with the school system. Oh, dear. Because it is a little bit iffy, and I really have my, if I had a child in school today, maybe not ready to go back to school. We'll see, because you and I can social distance. You and I are smart enough to know that I'm not going to hug you. I love you, but I'm I not going to hug you. I love you to death, but I'm not hugging not you. not going to hug you. Children haven't seen their friends in months, and when they get back on the bus, they're going to want to hug each other. It's going to be a very, very hug, different they're situation. They're going to hold hands. They're going to hug a teacher. Sure. We've got we a, have school a bus situation. drivers who are at risk, and so we're going to talk about that when we come back. Hang out. We'll be back in just a few minutes.
whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. When traveling internationally, know where you're going and what the environment is. Also, don't dress to stick out. Dress to blend in with the environment and the culture. Make sure that you put minimal information on your luggage tags. Airlines actually track your bags, which you can follow through your app anywhere domestically and internationally. Also have a medical plan. We have mobilized rescue system. These systems are the only integrated medical technology that can integrate to your phone and be used abroad and domestically for any medical emergency that you have. If you have any questions or concerns about travel security or training, please contact Type International. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Never been so happy, dancing, swinging, laughing at me, smile on my face. It's happiness for days. Uh oh. You are everything I need. Happy ever after will be. Couldn't even dream a better. Couldn't even dream a better way. Night on Heart of the Home. I promised you a quick and easy recipe. Got this is. You, oh, how are you? On time, every time. On time, every time. You're always on time for lunch. Well, as long as I can grab it and go. Honey, you can grab this one and go. I promise you, this is a simple, simple recipe. We're going to do it quickly, and you can grab it and go. Awesome. This consists of canned biscuits, ground beef, onions, shredded cheese, a little bit of Hidden Valley Ranch spices, and some sour cream. How simple? Grab it and go. My guest this evening is Jerry Blue, who happens to be my UPS driver. Hey, Sharon. How you doing? I'm doing good. Love to see this boy come in the door. He's always smiling, always happy, Thank you. and has killer great legs. <laughs> I was teasing him about that because I thought you'd show up in shorts today. I'm sorry it was cold uh, this morning. Well, I've seen the movie Legally Blonde, and I love when that UPS driver hits the door because those girls are thrilled to death, and I think the girls in my office like when you come in, too. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And you're single. Yes, I am. And you're a good cook. Yes, I am. I love That's a great, and what, there are seven children in your family? Yes, there are. So yeah. you learned from your mom? Yes, we did, yes. She was a great cook. Oh, and, wow. You know, and I've got two hungry boys that I had to feed all the time so Good. I was always cooking. Cool, cool. And now do your boys like to cook? Uh, no, they like to eat. but uh, They like for dad to have it ready when they get <laughs> yeah, there. That, yeah, they that's a plan. That. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. Well, I promised you a quick and easy recipe, and this really is a yeah. quick and easy recipe. Super. And it started, um, I've done this for about six weeks, and every time I make it, they just grab them and go. And I said that was so easy because we had we made it one day going to the go-kart track. The guys just grabbed it and went with it. And I just decided we can do it now for a dinner, and then you can do it at breakfast, too, with bacon and eggs. So we're going to do this one tonight for a nighttime. Now, Jerry, we have browned ground beef and chopped an onion. And I want you to add the Hidden Valley Ranch. This is dry Hidden Valley Ranch dressing like you would make um, dip that you'd okay. use at parties. So this is a great combination for seasonings for this. <clears throat> and then you add sour cream. And I promise you, I made this about four times before I shared the ingredient with anybody because I was making it for some of my grandchildren. And I thought if I tell them there's sour cream in it, they'll say they don't like it. I made them enjoy it and then told them the ingredients. 
Now we're putting 12 ounces of shredded cheese to our sour cream, our ground beef, and our Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. And I actually keep this in the refrigerator, and then when I come home from work, I can just throw it in the oven because by the time you put it together, just a few minutes. That does sound so good. Really good. <clears throat> you can have this with a salad and some fruit. And it's on, it really is a grab it and go meal. Now we're gonna spray our pan with Pam. Now the trick is you divide your biscuit in half. And you take half. You can be working on those. <clears throat> you just put half of the biscuit in the bottom okay. of each one of them. And then quickly you fill those little Basically, it's a little shell that it develops as it cooks. Right. And it covers your ground beef mixture. You take just about a tablespoonful of the mixture and put it on top of half of the biscuit. Okay, now we're putting the top of the biscuits that we've torn in half. We're just covering our mixture. And then basically, it will form over and close itself up as it cooks. Now we're going to put these in the oven for about 10 minutes, and I do it at 350. You don't want to do it too fast. Um, sometimes you cook bread at higher temperatures, but this you do it at 350. Now in about 10 minutes, we can grab it and go. Cool. Now, Jerry, they're hot out of the oven, and they were quick. Yes, were they, they quick? Were. They were easy, quick. Easy. easy. And what are we going to do now? We're going to grab it and go. We're going to grab it and go. Now, tomorrow, you bring me my plate back like you do every day. I certainly will. Okay. Thank you, Sherry. You're welcome. It was great having you here. It was great making this simple recipe. We hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned every Thursday night to Heart of the Home. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we shared. I had a bride on here that has had to change her wedding date twice because of COVID. The venue that she was using, nah, not booking this, not booking that. So now she's moved to the last of August. Now she's not sure that's going to work out. And then we had a caterer here. Dinah was here that same day. Dinah does fantastic stuff. And if you are thinking about doing an event in the fall, pick up the phone and call Dinah. She does such a great job. But <clears throat> during this COVID, we have met brides who said, I'm going to get married come the devil or high water. And so their families are pulling off amazing weddings. And we saw this one is a backyard wedding done in ball ground. She had her gorgeous dress. They had the event planned. Oh, they had the venue planned. The venue dress. changed on her twice. She said, nope, we're not doing this. And so her family pulled off a gorgeous, gorgeous wedding in their yard. They basically, they did, um, everybody brought a dish for their meal. That's the beautiful bride and mom. It was just fantastic. Who is that? And, and this, is, this is Nicole and Tate Nicholson. They got married. This is Freddie's cousin and uh, actually groom and mom. And we, we honestly, 125 people were there and they had plenty of space for everybody. They did it out in their yard by their swimming pool. All the family got together and decorated everything. It was amazing, and it looked like professionals had come in and done everything. It was just fantastic, and it was one of those things. They could have given up and said, okay, we'll choose another yes, date, and we'll do it again. just beautiful. But they didn't, and then they used the old barn doors from the Calvin Farmer barn that was Freddie's great-granddad's, and see there in front of the barn door then, the, her mother's wedding that I want to feature in the future, her mother's wedding also used those doors. So it is just so cool when when life throws you crap, you just don't but take it. You just don't take it. They to make out of the Isn't lemons that beautiful? because that's an absolutely They did a fantastic wedding. job. And it was one of those things and it probably she wanted means to get married. More, they were ready. They it were probably ready. means more to them than being married Absolutely. In some big big elaborate Absolutely. venue that didn't mean anything to yep. them. Yep. And you know what I have said to maybe with these COVID things, our kids all got married in church. Maybe, you know, you could do your church ceremony and then later at an event venue have a big reception. Go ahead and do your wedding in your church and let's do that and then have the big event. But look the, how much, how many different ways you can use all that money you'd been oh, spent on a wedding. I know. That's a down payment on a house. That's I a know. car. That's all kinds <laughs> of things. Here we go. Okay, use we're coming back. 
And, and that is just, I love that they were able to pull this off and it was a happy family that all got together, helped That's each wonderful. other. And her, her uncles, her, her mom's is brothers. Ball ground? It is in ball ground um, at their personal home. And it just, you know, um, Sue and Mike live up on top of a hill and they have the swimming pool and, and they uh, parked and all the neighbors, everybody was just, everybody was into it and everybody helped. And it just came together, and they didn't have to change the date again. See, I so think we're going to see more and more and more of that I hope so. as we get into this, because really, I hate. People are tired of being I told no. I truly hate to see thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars spent at a wedding. Well, but if you own a wedding venue, <laughs> you like. Well, and if you, know. you own a wedding venue, <laughs> yeah. I understand that, and yeah. I can understand. I want to have an event at the Wheeler House. Well, I want to have an event at the Wheeler House, well, oh, well, House Barn. <laughs> well, they need to work out something with bridals by Laurie in Atlanta because they have so many brides that come in there on say yes to the dress Atlanta mm -hmm. who are getting married at the Wheeler House in Ball Ground. I know. They need know. to work out something right now with them. Yep. Yep. Well, I think the Wheeler House is officially opened back up. Some of the venues are open back up, but again, when you said 50 people limit, if you're having a huge wedding and you have exactly. corporate guests, you have family guests, you have friends, and you can't include everybody, how do you knock down that guest list? How do you choose from your family or your father's work associates? It gets it's to tough. be having owned a wedding service. I know their what that's hurt. like. <laughs> there, there's always a hurt feeling uh -huh. at a wedding. Mm -hmm. There's not mm -hmm. a wedding that hasn't occurred where someone hasn't mm -hmm. been upset over something. Yeah. And I just I I've always been a proponent. Of, I love a big fancy wedding. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. better than a yeah. big fancy yeah. wedding and yeah. and twelve bridesmaids and twelve groomsmen. But there's something wonderful about that backyard wedding mm -hmm. that just shows so much love. Our good friend Noah Sims. Yes, he got married in, in the yard. Fell in love and got married in his jeans out in the backyard. Yep, and, yep, yep. and you know what? Use their heads. But I think that that's just and that's something nice to do. And to Morgan and Chris Ray down in Fallground, congratulations. They chose to go to Pigeon Forge. And they did a very simple, very beautiful wedding, and it was perfect. And it works for you. Do whatever works for you. And if a family wedding out in the yard works for you, pull it off. Call your family and say, Aunt so-and-so, you make the world's best banana pudding. Will you bring a will big dish? Will you bring a big dish? Or <laughs> yeah, Aunt yeah. Sherry, will you bring a cobbler? Chicken bites. Or chicken bites. Yeah, we're grab it and go. But... But you there's can so do many, this. We so don't have things. to take no. Yeah, we don't have to take no for an answer. So. Well, I think that's where the world's going for the next few months. I don't think we're we're not ready to go back to where we were. And I do think we're going to have to look. Do you think we're ready to go back to school? No. No, it's that's very the frightening scary part. To me. When you look at the way the COVID numbers have gone up over mm -hmm. the last couple of a weeks, a one-year-old child in Chattanooga died. A one-year-old, died. one-year-old child. Yeah, yeah. When you look at the numbers that have gone up from where people have gathered in large groups. Yep. We don't know yet what's about to happen. Look at the Ju look at July 4th. Mm -hmm. Look at everybody mm -hmm. that stood on that dam. Look at everybody that that in New York. Look at all of the people that went to Mount Rushmore to see those fireworks over yep. Mount Rushmore. Yep. 7500 people and they gonna, loved every minute of gonna it. Going to bring, you know, we'll bring that one up. But Beautiful. People, Beautiful. people are gathering and this thing doesn't pay attention to age, creed, color, religion or anything. It just grabs hold of a cell. Did your doctor really scare you? Yeah, he really did. Dang. He really did. I didn't want to hear he, that. When he said, I was out four weeks with it, he was supposed to go back to, uh, in the, wow. it, to India. He was supposed to go, and he was sick with wow. it for four weeks. Wow. And he scared me. He said, I'm telling you, go, go home and go is, and quarantine yourself. Um, he said, you need to realize, and he said, you and all of your friends all have the same thing. You, your, your body is literally what COVID is looking for. I found he said, you, I found He said, you. your lungs. He said, your allergy is irritating your lungs. That's easy for COVID to grab. COVID mm -hmm. grabs lungs. Mm -hmm. He said, "You've had pneumonia. Your lungs are scarred." He didn't love my pneumonia. lungs because they're always in trouble. But so. no, no, he did. He yeah. scared me. He it said, "I'm serious." He said, "I don't want to see you running around." It's scary, but I'm not going to stop living. Now, this weekend, people did not stop living, and they went to Mount Rushmore. Seventy-five hundred at least people went happily went and enjoyed every moment. 
Stone Mountain chose to close down, and I saw traffic. And that's such a sadness. That was so sad. But then protesters went to Stone Mountain and are griping and complaining and having a fit. Stone Mountain is privately owned, though. It is. Owned. It's not owned by the state. That's right. It's, they're that's not, right. They said before, they will not be dictated to. We are not owned by the state. We do not take state funds. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping and praying to God they don't give in. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mean, think they will. I'm, I'm not saying that everything we did in the Civil War was well, right. It wasn't. It's over. It wasn't. It's over. But we can't change it. Nope. But we've got to learn from it. Okay. Do you still use Aunt Jemima syrup? And I would continue. I bought three bottles lately because I, I, I love her. I love Aunt Jemima. I love her. But and I, I also want her sitting think on of Hattie table. McDaniel in Gone with the Wind. Absolutely. She made. Won an Oscar. She made that movie. Mm -hmm. When you think of what that movie Miss would Scarlet, have been with, without her and the other and the other little it wouldn't lady, have been squat. It wouldn't have been that. We we have to learn. I don't think we need to take down every statue that's out there and put up other statues that they're right. wanting to put up. Right, right. I think there's a place for everything. Mm -hmm. It's part of history. Everything. It is history. And it that's what history. we need to do. But I think the most important thing that we've all got to do is to sit down and look into each other's eyes and talk, not pull a gun out, mm -hmm. not pull a knife mm -hmm. out. But you and I are sitting here talking. You and I don't agree on everything. My, my dearest best friend who I could not love more if she were truly my sister. Mm -hmm. The year Reagan ran, I voted for Reagan and she voted for Jesse Jackson. <laughs> now that just tells you what Lee's thoughts are. Yeah. Hi honey, how are you this morning? You're in Arlington, Virginia watching us, I know that. But we've had some of the best conversations, but we don't fight over it, mm -hmm, but we mm -hmm, talk about mm -hmm. it. But I would trust her truly and completely with my life. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah, her dearly, yeah. but we don't believe the same thing in it, but we talk about it. Speaking of, speaking of, if you do not have a health directive, it is very important that you do that. Get and one I'm now. going to say, Put it in your wallet and have it dated, notarized, and ready for you because I have a dear, dear friend whose dad ended up in the hospital. There was no directive. The hospital, a, a person who really shouldn't have made decisions for him was making decisions. I think it's all being corrected today, but for about five days, it wasn't corrected. It is so important it that so we in today's to world, do. Saturday when I thought I was leaving here and me and the Lord were fixing to have a big hoo la la I was scared to get death because a, I thought, does everybody know what I want? Does get, everybody know how? Get it's you a important. power of attorney. It's so and, important. And get you at living will. Well, power of attorney ends at death. So, yes, but, but if you are but incapaci if, if I was if you incapacitated. Are incapacitated. What if I was incapacitated? You could do the show. She could do the show if I was going. If, <laughs> if I died, I thought you were going to say, I thought you were gonna say I could make the, the call on whether or not to unplug you. It's so, uh, but nowadays the attorneys have the forms and can do them. It is so, it's so very important, important, it's so important to do. Yeah. And you're better off having them and never needing them yes, yes. than needing them and not or, having or, them. Or having something happen. Because and, and now uh, by law, now yeah. by law, the hospitals and doctors are not going to just What's let so a sad, wife or a husband walk this, in and take control. The, the problem being, this gentleman was out of state and had a health issue, his children in Georgia can't get in touch and they were headed down there and the hospital said, you can't come because of COVID because we're in a very high risk area with tons and tons of cases. What do you do when your dad doesn't have a health directive and he's laying there? That is so scary. So put a health directive in your wallet. It's the, it's, it's the scariest thing you'll ever do. And when, when Choose somebody to decide. If you walk in and you have to stand at that nurse's station and sign certain papers, but you need to have the doctors talk to you. Yeah, yeah. You know who I'm going to choose for my health directive? <laughs> I'm going to choose poor old Freddie so he can sit there. He would be bored if I were gone. So he's going to try to keep me here to keep him entertained, you know. But 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 you think about that, you know. It's my, an my daughter situation. is gone all the time. My daughter's never available. She's on a fishing boat somewhere every single day of her life. 
And Nick, I would never put that pressure on him, but Freddie is that level-headed person mm -hmm. who would say, okay, this is the best decision to make. He wouldn't make the decision without talking to my children, but I would trust him to be there. So you have to find somebody in your circle that you trust. And talk to that person. Yeah, yeah. Tell that person what you think, what you feel. Right. Right. Talk to them about a do not resuscitate, right. which is a, a horrible decision sure to make, is. but tell them what you would want done for yep. you. Yep. Yep. And, and don't take the guesswork out of it. And you it. know, the sad thing is we have seen situations where the do not resuscitate, somebody was in a coma for eight months who came back and is now completely normal. So that's so scary because if the doctors come in and say, well, she's been in a coma after an automobile accident for eight months. What do you do? Well, should we pull the plug? And then they come out of it two weeks later. What if you had pulled the plug? There's so it is difference. such a decision. There's a difference on pulling the plug and do not resuscitate. The do not resuscitate is if they are going through a, a dying right. process, right. do you fight to bring them back? You know, or, or do you just let them go in peace and 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 you know my thing is if, if you I'm can bring me back kick. and I'm, I'm gonna go kicking and screaming if, if, I'm go, yeah, if I'm if you can bring me back to what I am today that's fine don't bring me back a vegetable mm -hmm. don't do that to me but if you can bring me back today but it is so important this weekend I know two men both of them ended up in the hospital one had a heart attack he was in Fannin County at the lake had a heart attack they got him to Northside Cherokee where he's fine mm -hmm. today but make sure that somebody knows your wishes because your family can't go in the hospital with you because of COVID. You are basically on your own in that hospital. You need to have a directive that says, this is my choice and you know, you gotta do it. But but thank goodness he survived and, and you know, it's if a long drive a, if, from if, Fannin County to Northside Cherokee. If you want to be an organ donor, mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. because you just can't. So important, so you important. Can't, you can't, Sometimes you're unconscious and you can't say, right, oh, right. by the way, use everything you can and yep. then get yep. rid of what's left. Yep. You, yep. But I think you've got to, they're hard conversations, but you and I have been through situations where we you know have to do you, you got to have it. Yep. You got to have yep. them. Yep. You've got to be able to, t I've sat my children down and I said, now this, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. You may not want it, but I'm leaving you power of attorney and you can take me to this point, but then then you have a medical power of attorney that takes so there's a business power of attorney uh -huh. and, a America, and, a, and, a, and a medical power of attorney but you, but you've got to have those sure. conversations now it's important these are these are days that we are possibly going to be surprised with something that we don't want possibly going to be in a hospital you don't know you just you Look don't at the know people that have gone into the hospital with covid and been in comas for two three right. four five right. weeks and they can't thank speak goodness, up for themselves. most of them. Are we still at less than 0.6% population? I don't know the last deaths. figures. I know that we are growing in, we're growing in cases in Fannin County. We're growing in, case, God knows, Polk County's just exploding up there. Cherokee County is growing. And why do you think growing. Polk County's exploding? I don't know. I, I, I really wonder because, you know, we're so divided. We've got the, the west side of the county and you've got the, the, east side of the county but we got a lot of people coming into the east side of the county to to kayak and mm -hmm. to raft and mm -hmm. to do things uh could that be part of it mm -hmm. i don't have those answers mm -hmm. i don't know uh, other than i'm just staying in my house i'm not going to town and shop. i'll go to the grocery store and do what i need to get done and i have this method i i'm in and I, i'm out and i don't lollygag i don't shop don't look don't i go and get what i went to get and get out of there get, get, get out i'm of like there. i'm like space rocket in the grocery store now i don't spend a lot of time looking in lollygag and i get what i want and get out so i'm i'm susceptible michelle is so susceptible right now it's just so susceptible i don't even want her going mm -hmm. out the front door even yep. you know yep. i mean she's so yep. susceptible um, because this radiation, they have told her, was just going to destroy her immune system for well, a while. Well, this weekend, Cameron Hall, I think the Canton location, had the Varsity bring their Varsity truck. And I've done that. I actually catered an event with the Varsity truck coming out. And they do chili dogs and peach pies and uh, frosted oranges mm -hmm. and, and um, onion rings. And we did a huge event. Um, I did it as a customer appreciation and for Habitat for Humanity. And I did this, and we brought all these people in. 
Well, you're bringing in people from another county to serve, exactly. but they did it at Cameron Hall. They had a great, great event. It was awesome. They kept their standards what they needed to be. They sanitized everything. Everything worked out very, very well. And, and that's a great way to, to give the people who have been sitting in these nursing homes all this time. If you're in assisted living and you can't go out and you can't do this and you can't do that. And your family can't come in. This brought a little joy to them. So that was awful. a great move this weekend because everybody who sees one of those red hats and sees a varsity chili dog has got to be smiling. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What well, do you I'll have? tell you what, what I'll have. have. What I will have, have two chili dogs, onion rings, and a frosted orange. Thank you. <laughs> I miss <laughs> the old-fashioned PC. I don't want yes, just a, yeah, a chocolate, chocolate milk now yeah. to pour in the glass. I want it to come out of that yeah. that tap and yeah. fuzz. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. But, oh yeah, I gotta have my my varsity but chili and my But I love that people are stepping and up and doing things for people who have been basically locked in. And so I thought that was pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. And maybe everybody, um, we've seen a lot of restaurants here preparing meals for people who've been mm -hmm. shut in and that's so really, really cool. Remember that when you choose a restaurant to go eat in, choose somebody who is helping your community. Somebody local, someone local that yep. needs the business. I mean, I know the chains need it too, but we've got a lot of good local restaurants right. and sandwich shops that really need the help. Yep. Okay, we're gonna go to something. I love Freddie Hart. He was a super, super nice guy. He was lucky enough, to, he gave me some really cool stuff and I can share it with you. And we're gonna do this. Freddie Hart <clears throat> passed away over 90 years old, but he was such a voice in American music history. Yeah. And I want you to just sit back and you listen to. And I even you, tried to give him the wrong pardon song. Pardon me? Okay. Yeah, and, and, and you you listen to and, and you look at America. This is America, this is my country, I'm so proud of it. This is my president, I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of those in Congress who choose to work. I'm very disgusted with those who don't do anything. But when you listen to this Freddie Hart special, you will understand that out of everywhere you could ever go, <clears throat> there's nothing any better than being on American soil. <laughs> there is nothing any better than being on American soil. So thank God every single day when you wake <laughs> up, you salute this flag, you say a prayer for our nation, and you understand that we are American strong because of people like Joey Jones. I, I want to vote for Joey Jones as president in 20 years. This is a young man from Dalton, Georgia. He was a bomb technician. He now is with Fox News as a special correspondent. He is fantastic. He loves America. He gave his legs to America. He didn't give his attitude. He is so positive. He's so focused. He's so amazing. I want to vote for Joey Jones as president. So if you see that I have written him in after this next election, it'll be because yeah, I wasn't happy with my choice. But, but we have got to be happy in America. We have got to praise America. We have got to stand strong for America. She's been here for us a long, long time. And um, when I look at that Statue of Liberty, when I look at these flags, I think about anybody who could, they showed people burning our flags this weekend and it really, really pissed me off. I was so mad it I could have died. It hurts, it I was sick, I was sick because you do not burn our American flags and people were burning it like crazy. I wanna take these people we that ready? are doing that to, to places where they can't have those freedoms. Yeah, it is. Oh, I just played it. We've played it twice here. Oh, how crazy. We played it two weeks ago. That's so weird. Well, we have a, you had the can you take it out them, and start you? again? Yeah, this is weird. Such is life, such is life, a technical difficulty. Welcome to live TV. Welcome to live TV. I don't like when it's that way. I want everything to go just Well, <laughs> now you know what to start the show with tomorrow. <laughs> It played fun, it played fun. But but I love that Freddie Hart looked back on America and said, it's DVD, not CD. It's DVD. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, but anyway, when he, when he gave us this, I've watched it over and over and over and every single time, I've never been to all the places that he shows in here, the pyramids and, and all the things. But he said, you can go to all these places, but the greatest nation in the world is coming back to America. Mm -hmm. And it is coming back on our soil. Can you imagine being a soldier coming back on a stretcher after losing your legs, after losing your arms, after losing your eyesight, after losing whatever, 
but you still love America, and you would still go back and fight for America again. Come sit with us at the USO one day. Absolutely, absolutely. You've been there. And, and it, it is, and the stories it is you these hear. young boys and these young women who are fighting for our country for us to have the right to do what we do every single day. They look like children, don't they? They do, and it was, they. one thing they said is you can't cry in front of them. No, you can't. I kept having no. to go to the bathroom. You can't cry. I just kept having to go to the bathroom because I kept crying, and I was like wiping my eyes and trying to get my eye makeup back on my face. But we are so blessed because we do have an all-volunteer military. Most of our military are amazing. Every once in a while, there's a bad apple. Every once in a while, We've had shootings at Fort Hood. We've had shootings mm -hmm. at different places. Every once in a while, a soldier doesn't get the mental counseling they need after coming back from war. If we don't do anything else in America, we have to support our veterans. We have to support their mental health when they come home from war. We have to be there to help them and to guide them. And we've had a lady on, we're gonna have her on, I think it's, uh, I think it's this Wednesday, uh, who is gonna be doing the, dogs for the for the veterans watch american sniper when it's on oh, or yeah. rent it oh yeah or rent it you just it, it it's like watching seal team on tv you mm -hmm. just i mean th these are taken from facts yeah yeah and you just don't realize what these men and women are going through yeah. for the two of, for, for all and of then us they come home and not to a perfect situation sometimes and they're expected to just step right back Can't into society Can't just like they They've done horrible things over there by the order of their, their president and their, their generals, and they have to come home and just wake up one morning and say, oh, well, I'm back to, I'm back to normal. I, right, you right. Know, it's I'm, very hard. And it, it's very difficult, and we've got to remember that for these soldiers. And, and I need think so much help. if you're looking at voting, when, when we're talking voting in November, if you will do your research, the best congressional candidates we're seeing and the best Senate candidates we're seeing, he got it to work. Okay, so we're gonna do this, but the best candidates to choose to me are people who have served military. On Thursday, we're gonna have a very, very special guest. He has had three tours of duty in Iraq. He made it home. He is a solid, straight up guy, and, and I can't wait for you to get to meet him. So we're gonna do that on Thursday. But right now, we're gonna go to my buddy, Freddie Hart. I've been to other countries Across the ocean blue I fell in love with Paris And I love London too I viewed the wall in China And I've toured the ruins of Rome But the statue we call Liberty She always brings me home I wouldn't trade America for the world I still appall when I see her flag unfurled Although she may be battle scarred She's still a good old girl I wouldn't trade America for the world I've been to Cairo, Egypt. I've seen the pyramids, saw Israel and Russia, and I'm so glad I did. I've seen the lights along the Nile and the cliffs of Mexico. But when it comes to freedom, America wins the gold. I wouldn't trade America for the world. I still applaud when I see her flag unfurled. Although she may be battle scarred, she's still a good old girl. I wouldn't trade America for the world. Now, 
Now they are those you can hear them sing. She's not what she used to be. And others, they put her down almost every day. But there's no place on God's green earth I would rather be. That's why I can stand and proudly say I wouldn't trade America for the world. I still applaud when I see her flag unfurled. Although she may be bad scarred, she's still a good old girl. I wouldn't trade America. I wouldn't trade America. I wouldn't trade America. Check out us on YouTube, two channels because I blew it, Sherry Martin, 2009, a lot of DVDs, Sherry Martin. If you pull it up, it's Sherry Martin drunk, that's not me. If you pull it up, Sherry Martin dancing in a bar, that's not me. There are other people who spell their name just like me, and it's been so weird because I said, I somehow have to change maybe the title on these and get it so y'all can pull it up easily now. We did post the program last week. Thank you, Cole, for putting Susan's A Night to Shine. So if your special needs children were at that dance here at Carter K. Baptist Church, you can go to YouTube and just type in Sherry Martin 2009 or Sherry Martin, and out of the videos, you will see the newest ones posted, and you will see Susan as that song was done here on ETC. It is a beautiful song. We are going to have a DVD that will show the participants of that event that night, and I think that will mean so much to them. So it we're will. going to share that. And it's just a beautiful, perfect song for the night. So, all right, you're going to go home and you're going to lock yourself in the house and you're going to stay safe. Yeah, and, I'm and don't stay anybody safe. get up in her face. You know, let's we're keeping our distance and we're trying to do that. Be cautious. Be be Just common be sense. Be smart. careful. Use use your use your brain. Common don't, sense. Don't go out common without sense. a mask. Don't go out without. We gotta go. Without you gonna tell careful. them bye. Love y'all. Y'all have a blessed bye, and happy week. We're gonna leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. Only at ETC. We'll see you again soon. You gave me a different point.